Okay, so let's uh, apply this, right? So we're gonna learn how to apply this by drawing Fisher projections, okay? So a Fisher projection is a two-dimensional representation of a three-dimensional molecule. This places the most highly oxidized carbon group at the top. This uses vertical lines in place of gashes for bonds that go back, and it uses horizontal lines in places of wedges for bonds that go forward. So depending on if it is going to be a dash, dashes go backwards. So horizontal lines are gonna go forward. So let's look and see what this is gonna look like. This is an example. So again, this is gonna be your mirror to see if it's chiral, right? This wedge is showing you that it's coming forward towards you where um, the dash line is going to be projecting back, okay? So um, this is, you know, again, it's showing you your chiral carbon. This is going to be L-glyceraldehyde, and this is D-glyceraldehyde, right? And then you can see how the wedges are forward and the dashes are back, okay? So this is just a different way to try to um, relate the 3D structure. Okay. So you have your D and L not notations. So the D or L isomers, like we saw in the previous picture, are assigned according to the position of the OH group on the chiral carbon furthest from the carbonyl group. So the letter L is assigned with the structure with the OH on the left. So that one works pretty good, L, left, where D is associated with the structure on the right. So like I said, the L one before, this is L erythros. The L isomer is uh, has the hydroxyl group, the OH, on the left, where the D has the OH group on the right. All right, so let's try to apply this again. All right, indicate which pair it has a mirror image that cannot be superimposed. Okay, so pause me and come back. All right, so for A, we say that yes, they can be superimposed. If I put a mirror right here, that's gonna be completely the same. Where if this one, I put a mirror in front of it, it is not gonna be completely the same, okay? Let's look at another one. Identify the following Fisher projections as aldols on left or, or D isomers, okay? So L isomers or D isomers. Remember L is the, well, I'm not gonna tell you. Okay, so pause and come back. All right, so remember D has the hydroxyl group on the right, where the L isomer is the left, L left, okay? So when we have the OH here on the left, that means it's gonna be the L isomer, where the OH on the right is the D isomer, okay? Great job. 